Good morning everybody. My name is Georgie Newby and I'm a flower farmer and florist based between fashionable Bruton and up and coming Wincanton here in sunny Somerset, well occasionally sunny, uh, in southwest England. And it is nearly mid-July and it is that time of year, that high summer time of year when sometimes people can feel a little overwhelmed by their gardens. We've had lots of rain and the weeds are going crazy and uh, we've also had a sad defeat at the hands of the marvellous Italians in the football and our fabulous team played incredibly well and they, all those young people are going to go on and win the World Cup for us, no pressure lads, uh, next year. So I thought I would do a little tour of the garden and look for signs of hope over adversity. There are weeds, but there are also treasures to be found. So come with me and we'll cheer ourselves up with the garden. Come on then. So, sign of hope number one. Here is a patch which in the spring I direct sowed and a very little of what I direct sowed came up because we had night after night of frost and it wasn't ideal. So I eventually then just planted up the patch with snapdragons and amaranths and this is millet, chrysanthemums and zinnias. And then I was just walking along thinking it was time maybe for a little weed and I spotted that what I was looking at weren't weeds, that, that, these are bells of Ireland which have just waited to germinate until they're good and ready. Look, there's more. So that's great. They'll be there and I'll just leave them where they are. There's a sunflower too at the back there. <laughs> and I'll just leave them to do what they want to do. They can join in the gang and they'll be part of my late crop. So happy days. And then as I was rearranging my uh, seedling patch because I've got lots of biennial seedlings I've picked out. I realised that these are not biennials. Oh no, these are Rebecca. And so I've planted them at this little end of the bed here and they will give me a nice little late crop late in the season. It's been very wet, which you might think isn't a great thing for a gardener. Um, but actually, there are added bonuses from very wet weather. Look at all these foxglove seedlings, self-sown. So I'll leave them where they are for the moment. And then at the end of the season, when I take out the sweet peas, I will corral the foxgloves into a square and not waste them. We have had a lot of rain, but I have seen the garden looking much worse. Look at the cobia scandens galloping up the trellis. What a riot. And all that colour. It's a good week for cutting. I do think. Now here we have a real bonus. These dahlias, there are 10 of them, hadn't sprouted when I planted everything else out. So I just chucked them in the cold frame and left them there. And now look, I have 10 dahlias. So all I need to do now is work out where to plant them. Added bonus. And I'm a great believer in chucking a bit of seed in the ground when you find you've got a space, just to see what happens. So here's extra amaranthus coming along nicely. This is the lime green one, which I just love. Another self-sown plant, which I would never be without, is this majestic red auric. Um, Atriplex, Atriplex rubra, for those of you who like a Latin name. And a friend gave me a plant or three a couple of years ago. And now it comes up every year where I originally planted those three plants. And look how effective they are along with the sweet peas. And if, I, if that seed hadn't been sown and I hadn't forgotten all about it, then I wouldn't have this extra treat in July. This blue Chinese forget-me-not. Can you see it's just humming with bees and hoverflies, all sorts of people. And luckily, <laughs> I have, you can see I'm a real Pollyanna, but luckily 
I have a blue and white wedding to cut for this weekend coming up. And so we will cut this right almost to the ground, not quite, and it will grow back and we'll get another crop out of it. And the bees will get more and more and more happy days. Then wandering around the wilder edges here at Common Farm, look what I find has sown itself and is growing up the trunk of this ash tree. Well, this is a European spindle and these are spindle berries and in the autumn they will be pink and orange, the most amazing colours. And this has just happened. And look, if it weren't for the strength of the ash tree, which is under great threat, then, because of the ash dieback, then this spindle wouldn't have something to lean upon to grow tall and feed its environment with all its lovely berries. Anyway, I sound as though I'm carping now. And all the rain has bent the heavy heads of the frothy grass, which is called bent. Maybe that's why it's called bent. And so the wildflowers in the meadow can stand taller and reach out for the butterflies and the other pollinators who flutter about above them. So you see, call me Pollyanna, but I see hope everywhere. And what is this purple haze framing the windows of Granny's tractor shed? Well, dear friends, this is not something you see very often in a domestic garden. This is a haze of thistle. And the thing about thistle is it feeds, look at it, if I go in a little bit closer, you'll see how many people on that one flower head. So if you feel your garden is overwhelming and not doing, not looking like something that's been opened for the NGS, don't panic. You will be doing a huge amount of good for your environment and there is good to find everywhere. You just have to look for it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the hopeful corners at Common Farm today, which is mid-July. Uh, I dedicate this film to the valiant chaps who played so brilliantly through Euro 2020, <laughs> played in 2021. Uh, onwards and upwards, lads. Here's to the World Cup next year. No pressure. You were all incredible. I felt thoroughly fired up and I'm not even normally a football fan. Anyway, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Somewhere here is a subscription bot button for subscribing and press the bell icon and you'll be told when we have new videos coming up. Uh, but cheer up everyone. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. And didn't they play valiantly? Didn't they? See you soon. <laughs>